better way to start off Vlogmas Day 4 <laughs> than Fatty, yet again, in the same location. I'm actually getting ready to run out the door right now, but it has officially happened. Um, Fatty has her own Instagram. It's across the screen if you guys decide you want to follow her. I can't guarantee how seriously I'm going to take it. I'm just having fun. And if you guys decide that you enjoy it, then that's great. But <laughs> it's Vlogmas Day 4. So, um... What's up, guys? What time is it? This is going in yours, too. I'm not letting you get away with okay, this. Okay, so it's currently <laughs> 1.15. You tell them. You, you take it away. Okay, they we're like going to just take this away. So she said, let's meet up at 12. And then she texted me, oh, let's meet up at 12.30. I'm like, all right. Get to the gym at 12.30. Next thing you know, it's 1.15 and she's falling in. Been sitting in the parking lot basically <gasps> since then. And the Thanks, fucked up Jess. thing is, I, I think I've done this to you like so, so many, many times. And you never, so many he times. has the right, like he could literally get mad at me every time and be like, dude, fuck you, I'm leaving. Or like, I'm just gonna start gymming. And then he just comes out <laughs> and he's like, what's up, Jazz? Like, yeah, you kind of fucked up, but it's okay. I'm like, yes, love. We're gonna get ready to train right now. Um, yes. We're doing actually the same stuff together. So we'll yeah. be filming together and we're just gonna do the day damn thing. Nice Gymshark shirt. Thank you. Nice Gymshark leggings. Wow, we're kind of like matching. Kind of are. Goals, but I'll see you guys in the gym.
for today because I am trying to keep it as holiday slash festive related as possible for you guys since it is vlogmas and I figured I would have obviously Brendan because I'm with him What's up guys? Get him involved in this shit. Obviously I'll have his channel link below and stuff you guys should already know who he is by now. But I went to Instagram and I asked you guys if you would rather see what's in my gym bag or if you wanted to hear me talk about my opinion on tracking macros during the holidays. So <clears throat> I would say tracking macros during the holidays one by a landslide and I'll probably do a updated what's in my gym bag later on. First we're just gonna I guess touch on our opinion on tracking on Christmas itself and yeah. then we can touch on tracking during the holiday like just during the month of December as a whole. My honest opinion I, I'm pretty sure we talked about this earlier and we pretty much yeah. have the same opinion but go ahead and say your piece first and then I'll touch on it okay so for me personally if you're not prepping for a bikini or bodybuilding show or whatever it is or trying to make weight for specific meats and even then I might question it I don't think on specific holidays like Christmas itself the bigger ones the family oriented ones I don't think people should track their food I think it's a part of like a necessity of life to, to live we gym guys to better our lives not to subtract and take away so if you're just in there you know in the gym to better yourself don't track on the holidays my opinion. Yeah, no, and I completely stand in the same place as him. I felt like he was going to be able to say it a lot better than me because I would just stutter like a million and ten times. <laughs> but it's it's the truth, guys. Like, I could not imagine. Actually, I did last year when I was prepping, prepping <laughs> uh, with 3DMJ. It was oh, yeah. during the holidays and it was during That's Thanksgiving. Right. And I remember, you know, like, Again, if you're prepping for a show, obviously stick with that if that's what you're getting ready to do. And that's what I was getting ready to do. I remember on Thanksgiving telling my family like, no, I can't eat anything. It's not going to fit my macros. Yeah, I did the same thing for two years straight. Two years? Back in my bro days. I wouldn't what the hell? eat anything. I remember my family it almost kind of messes up whatever Christmas like holiday spirit you guys have because my yeah. family, one, doesn't even know what the hell macros are. Okay. And two, we're all like just enjoying each other's company and then passing food around. And at least with my family we all go around and like pass out food and it's like this whole fun thing that we do together so when one person says ah that's okay no more <laughs> everybody snaps their neck and they're like you just feel a little misunderstood it's just not a good feeling you're not gonna leave the holiday feeling as full like mentally and physically as you should so that's our opinion I guess on tracking yeah. during Christmas if you don't have a show that you're prepping for or I mean really that should be it this is the time to like yeah, enjoy, enjoy your life. exactly and then as far as tracking during the month of December I think that it's fine I would say yeah. it's still a pretty festive time like if you want to indulge and have a peppermint mocha my favorite <laughs> holiday drink then do that that's fine again if you're not prepping for a show December maybe track loosely if it really comes down to it that's what I've been doing in general um, but if you're like really really into the if it fits your macros lifestyle then I would say track loosely for the month of December if you don't want to be as diligent don't just completely fuck your macros off I think if it's not on the holiday itself then of course like obtain your goals and you know adhere to them but uh, other than that yeah kind of track loosely find substitutes have fun with it it yeah. is December enjoy it eat food yeah Jim's there all the other months exactly guys. exactly yeah, time. that is gonna be the end of vlogmas day four I hope that you guys enjoyed it vlogmas day five will be coming tomorrow because that'll be day five Five is after four. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> so, so, I guess the final thing that I want to say is basically the giveaway technically already started. I know I mentioned it, but I've been very hush about it because let's just say it's working based off of how many of you are interactive on the video. I'm paying very close attention to who's commenting on the videos. I'm just paying close attention, let's just say that. So the more you interact, the more you like the content, all that, 
plays a factor in whether or not you'll win. You might not even have to do anything to win the giveaway. So <laughs> that, do you see, do you see? I see what you're doing there. You see what That's I'm actually doing a good idea. Yeah, it, right? But just keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 4. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to throw in a thumbs up, subscribe to Brendan's channel, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.